Welcome everyone to another episode of The Bryce Side. This evening we are in Redruth to go to the Redruth Meadery, which is right here beside me. It's not quite open yet, we're a little bit early. This is to continue our series of meadery videos. We've done Newlyn, we've done Trewellard, and we've done the Waterside Meadery. So tonight, we're here in Redruth. So let's go check it out. And yes, there is a knight behind my shoulder. I wonder if he's got a name. Maybe later when we're inside, we'll ask and see what his name is. Here's the sign. Redruth Meadery Restaurant. Now, it's been many, many, many years since I've been to this restaurant. In fact, I've only been here once, and it was when Shelley and I, I don't think we had been together that long. I can't remember how long it's been, but it's been more than a decade since I've eaten at this one. So, yeah, looking forward to this. A little bit difficult with the lack of light to see the menu, but they are all more or less the same. Scampi, fish fries, they're usually pretty good. Uh, battered onion rings, yes. Oh, jalapeno bites. Um, they do, like I said, they do all serve pretty much the same thing. But to my knowledge, this is the only meadery that sells steaks and burgers. So that's interesting. Although I'll just be, you know, I'll just have my usual chicken in the rough. I'm not exactly sure what this building was, whether it was like a school building or something like that in its past. I'm not sure. Usually on the menus they give you like a history of the building, so uh, we'll hopefully find out soon. Oh, and now it's raining. I'm gonna go with Dave. Dave the Knight. So they've opened up the outside doors, the inside doors are still closed, so we can't go in just yet. I can smell a lot of chicken, can not you? What are you hungry for tonight? I think they do some slightly different stuff at this meadery. Yeah, I'll I said that. The menu in a yeah, I said that in the intro. They do steaks and burgers and all, don't they? But I like to do the chicken with cumin. Right. So I love ribs. Yeah. I'm not a vehicle. I'm not a vehicle. A night vehicle. It's like that. Don't you just like? Don't you just love like having? Dinners with the kids. Anyway, sorry about the bad lighting. There is no good lighting here. Sit down. It's a meadery. Because, you know, it's a meadery and it's also dark. There's a sign here that states to let. Can you imagine living in one of these houses and you've got the meadery right next door to you? I'd be eating in it all the time. Amazing. All right, they've opened the doors, <laughs> heading in. Okay, we've arrived at our table. Loving all the medieval decor here, which is also uh, the same in Newland, isn't it? It's this sort of medieval the theme menu. there. Yeah, we've got the menu there. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Look at this amazing decor. This is awesome. Okay, the nice server's just brought some little uh, things to colour in, which is awesome just to keep the kids entertained. Yeah, look at this. Absolutely loving the decor. Very, very similar to the uh, Newland Meadery with its medieval theme. And also through here, we have a salad bar, again, like they have in Newlyn. So similar, if memory serves, similar sort of thing. You've got like your potato salads, couscous and pasta, that type of thing. All right, nice. Is that the same? Oh, it's all the same. So both those like salad bars serve the same thing. Cool little fireplace here. Look at this skeleton. He's got like his bottle of elderberry mead. I think he's had one too many. Let's have a little look upstairs. Look at this like jousting picture. That is very cool. One thing with this meadery, it is better lit than the one in Newlyn. The one in Newlyn is really quite dark, which I like because it does add to the ambience. But this one is much, much lighter and you can actually see what you're eating and you can read the menu. But uh, yeah, there we go. Nice. I did look on the menu to um, try and find out what this building was, but I couldn't find any information, so I assume it's a church. It looks like it, looks like it would have been a church. That's my guess. I opted to go with just a soft drink tonight, but it would be sacrilege in a meadery not to have mead. So I've got this, I can't remember what the measure was, but um, 100 mils of like their regular honey mead, so nice. Yes. We did get a little starters. We got some jalapeno bites along with some onion rings. So they look really good. Wow, so it's finished. You finished your... Guess what colour that is? Um, 
well, like purpley pink? Violet. Violet. And that's purple and that's blue and that's Oh, hello AJ. <laughs> right, nice one. Shelly's just going to dig into the onion rings. Good. Onion ring, can't really go wrong. No, not really. Hot, I bet. Yeah. Bit hot, bit hot for me. <laughs> You've got a cucumber smile. <laughs> And those onion rings came with a garlic mayo dip. And now Shelly is going to try the jalapeno poppers, so um, go for it. Or jalapeno bites, whatever they were called. That's not actually hot as I was expecting. What, hot as in temperature hot? Yeah, Alright. Right. Oh, okay. A bit of sweet chilli sauce. Yep. Nice. Okay. Yummy, yummy. So we're going to get a food section. Just for me. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yummy, yum! Mm. Ah. Just be a bit careful of the jalapeno bites because um, I bit into one and all the cheese goodness inside like went all over my lap. So, cheese goodness, that's right. Went all over my lap, so now I've got like a creamy lap. Shelly's just picked up her salad. It's like a little side salad, isn't it? It looks nice. Yeah, You've got some so cucumber. What's some? Oh, is that like, that's like a, a big, big fruit on? Yeah. Yeah. So I've got lettuce. Yeah. Um, peppers, onions, carrots, yeah. some beetroot, a little bit of coleslaw. I've got loads of cucumber because Tilly, Tilly likes, likes her cucumber, cucumber, doesn't she? And a couple of croutons. <laughs> So our mains have arrived, looking really delicious. I've gone with chicken in the rough, as you all know, because I love my chicken in the rough in a midri. Looks good. Uh, Shelley went with like a half and half. What so was it? Like a half chicken. Chicken and rib combo. Chicken and rib combo. Um, which comes with the chips, but me and AJ are going to share. Going to share the chippies, because then there is a bowl of scampi and then some fish fries with, obviously, you know, chips. Um, but so the kids are going to, like, share. Um, did you just try and eat lemon? <laughs> when the chicken arrives I always break it up a little bit just for it to cool off because it's super duper hot so that's what I'm going to do right now. Suitably broken up and no cooling. As tradition with uh, a midri there are no cutlery here, there is no cutlery here either but you can get cutlery up at the salad bar if you want to have a knife and fork you can go up and get it but uh, generally with a midri you just use your fingers. We're amazed because, as always with Amidri, the portions are quite large. This um, portion that Matilda's got was small. What do you think, Tilly? Is that a small portion, or a, you've just got cucumbers on your eyes? You're <laughs> doing like a facial. You need some like a you need like a face pack now. Mm. Some good chicken, moist, tasty, nice crunchy batter. What's your chicken like? Nice. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Nice. I, like the, I like the crispy skin. Yeah, it's got a nice crispy skin to it, isn't it? How are your ribs, Mama Bear? They're delicious, but they're very saucy. <laughs> very saucy. I see there's loads of barbecue sauce. Well, that was delicious. I am now stuffed, and I just hope that there's enough room in the sort of stomach region for a dessert, because, you know, it's either a death by chocolate or a Mississippi mud pie. I usually kind of alternate it a bit, so I think, I think it will be a Mississippi mud pie tonight. The table has been cleared, and we've just put our dessert order in. Can't wait. I, went, I did go for a Mississippi mud pie tonight. What dessert did you go for? I went for the Rocky Toffee, which mm. is um, ice cream and meringue and kilter cream and toffee sauce. Nice. Really healthy. And yeah, then and the kids... I've gone for a death by chocolate with ice cream that they're going to share. With, with an extra plate, yeah. Our dessert has just arrived and uh, we had an extra plate with the death by chocolate and AJ looked at that plate, which is obviously the spare one, as if to say, where's my dessert? <laughs> anyway, there is the kids' death by chocolate with a side of ice cream. And you know, I always love Death by Chocolate, so that's going to be amazing. And there is Shelley's. What was it? Rocky Road. What was it called? Uh, Rocky Road Toffee Rocky, Rocky or something. Is it Rocky Toffee? Toffee. Which looks amazing. I think AJ's going to be wanting to try that wafer thing. And here, 
is my Mississippi mud pie. Looking really good, served with uh, clotted cream. I could have got ice cream if I'd wanted, but I always have clotted cream. Yep. Just the, the good, um, the good old, I don't know why, but the good old uh, Mississippi mud pie. Nice. How is it, Matilda? Is it nice? Yeah, and AJ? Wait, wait, wait. Watch me do this in a minute. So I got some ice cream. You got some ice cream, yeah. So put it on me. Okay. Then spread it around. Mm hmm. Then dig into it. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Did you have that? You had that last time, didn't you? No, I think I got the um, chocolate nut one last time. Ah, okay. I quite often get the rocky toffee. Yeah. Looks delicious. I did ask the staff inside whether this knight has got a name. They said no. So I'm officially naming, naming him Dave. Dave the Meadery Knight from Adruth. I don't know about you, Shelbel, but I am stuffed. Yes. Very stuffed, but it was tasty. <laughs> it was very nice. Very good media. I do highly recommend you popping up to Redruth or down to Redruth, depending on where you are, because um, that was yeah, that was a really good media. We were just chatting to the lady, the owner of it. She was saying that the Waterside, the Newlyn, and the Trewellard are still owned by the original family. This one used to be, but, but they she, sold it she to bought her. it from them. Yeah. Yeah. So she um, was part of the original media group. Yeah. Um, but she bought her business. From, that from them, yeah. And the one in Helston, which is a newish one, is completely independent. They're, they're not associated uh, in any shape or form. Right, we're going to leave a video there. Do all the usual YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, smash the bell. We are on social media. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at the Bryce side. <laughs> so check us out there. So from us to you, cheers, cheers and gone. One thing I want to just mention, the meal cost £89 and change. Just so you know roughly how much that would cost for a table of four.